In today's video, I'm going to create this kind of effect or this kind of neon effect in Photoshop. So without wasting any time, let's jump into this video. Before I start this video, make sure you hit the like button and don't forget to hit the subscribe button on this channel. So I'm just going to select this crop tool and select this 4 to 5 ratio because I'm going to upload it in Instagram. So this preset is perfect for Instagram. So just crop it. How much you want is depends on you. And then select this icon over here to finalize your crop or selection. So I'm select this render and hit Ctrl T to resize or rotate this image a little bit like this like this and now select a solid color by clicking this icon over here this adjustment panel and then select solid color i'm just going to select this color 2e 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 this kind this dark gray and then hit this ok button and now i'm just going to add this crunch texture by the way all the texture or all the stocks links are in the description box below so now i'm just going to select this uh, grunge texture and drag into our document like this and hit ctrl i think uh, sorry and then hit ctrl t and resize or fill it with uh, or fill the document with this um, texture like this and set this blending mode to multiply or i think darken looks but uh, yes darker and change the fill to uh, 40 or 25 person i think 40 is perfect for this document and now drag your render on top of all this image or all this layer now select your smoke texture or this smoke texture and drag into a document like this and drag this layer underneath this layer one layer like this and change the blending mode to green you can see this this white line or white line um, so we just need to delete it so i'm just going to add a layer mask by clicking this icon over here and select the foreground color to black and select a hard or sword brush doesn't matter and change the flow to 100 percent and just simply paint black over the layer mask to delete this portion or delete this white line uh, i think it's fine now so now i'm just going to add this logo or zoom dash logo to achieve this kind of uh, neon effect uh, so i'm just going to select this uh, logo and drag into our document like this and make sure this um, this Juventus logo or any logo is underneath this render so as because this is a black image so i'm just going to invert it by hitting ctrl i on my keyboard like this so now i'm just going to hit ctrl t on my keyboard and resize it like this and then hit this icon over here so i'm just i now i don't need this Juventus text so I'm just going to select this rectangular marquee tool and select this portion of my logo and hit control or sorry and hit control and this icon over here to add a negative layer mask. So now I'm just going to change the blend mode to overlay like this and now hit right click on your layer or this logo and select blending option and add outer glow i think white would be perfect for this image and spread it like this and sorry change the spread to one or two and size to 100 person or 100 pixel or 101 pixel like this and change the opacity to 50% and change the 
blend mode to overlay then you can change the opacity to 60 or 70 percent and now add this color overlay and change this to white and change this to overlay I think this is perfect now select this inner glow icon over here or inner glow option and change the opacity to 30 percent and change the size uh, to 87 or 90 pixel like this and choke to 30 percent 30 pixel or 30 percent sorry i think we need to change the opacity to uh, 70 percent like this we already achieved this kind of uh, glow effect or this kind of neon effect as you can see and then hit ok now we just need to add light or shadow on this render so i just going to turn off this um, logo for now i'm going to uh, hit this icon over here to create a new layer and then right click on it and select create clipping mask and now select the foreground color to white and select the brush tool hardness select the hardness zero percent and reduce the size to 36 pixel or like this and now change the flow to 10 to 20 percent i think 15 is perfect for me and just paint white on your image or on your render like this and now i'm going now i'm just going to turn on my logo and now i'm going to add a new layer above this logo layer and select the color white and change the blend mode to overlay and now just paint white i think we need to change the flow uh, like this to add more, some more lights or more gl glowing effect and now create another layer underneath this uh, logo layer and then paint white again and change the fill to 40 or 30 percent this change the blend mode to soft light or overlay i think soft light is best for this and now select your render and select this icon over here to create another layer and now change the flow to 10 or 8 percent and paint white again on the edges like this And now change the fill to 40 or 50 percent like this and now create a brightness on contrast layer or adjustment layer and select this icon over here to clipping mask it and change the brightness to 40 percent or minus 40 and contrast to 8 now i'm going to hit ctrl i on my keyboard to invert this layer mask for this brightness and contrast layer like this and now select the foreground color to white and paint some black or paint some white on layer mask to add some shadows or now create another layer and right click on it and change this to and right click on it and select create clipping mask and now select your layer 8 this or this blank layer and change the blend mode to soft light and select the foreground color to white and paint some white on your highlighted part of this image
then this is fine and now change the foreground color to black now change the background color to black and paint black on the shadow part of your image like this Uh, this is perfect I think we're almost done if you want then we can play with this eye color for this render just get the white color and paint this eyeball over here like this <laughs> looks funny though but I'm just going I'm just going to delete this layer and now add a curve adjustment layer select a curve adjustment layer and add a point like this and drag this curve like this to add more contrast or more black on this image and select this point over here and drag it like this to add more or to add fit some faded effect like this and now it's going to add this mock texture again but this time on top of the render like this and hit ctrl T on a keyboard and change and right click on it and select flip horizontally like this again change the plane mode to screen and now I'm going to add a, another texture this dust texture and drag into our document and change the blend mode to screen again like this And change the blend mode to 50% like 50% or I think 60 is perfect for this image I think we're done now but you can add a vignette so I'm just going to take this curve adjustment layer and drag this icon over like this and select this rectangular mar uh, marquee tool and and make a selection like this and hit ctrl I on a keyboard to invert the layer mask for this portion and hit ctrl d on a keyboard to deselect this and select this layer mask and go to the filter blur and gaussian blur ok and now select this adjustment and now go to the adjustment panel and select this color lookup and select this two strip dot look and change the blend mode to soft light and now reduce the fill of this lookup table i hope you guys enjoyed this video so if you did then don't forget to hit the like button and if you are new to this channel then don't forget to hit the subscribe button i do upload every single week and also check out my other tutorial channel the designs of orco the link is in the description box below so let's see you in the next video till then bye bye Everything's actually alright.